we got a lot of good personalities on this team. And uh, uh, these guys have all, at least early on, have really bought in. You know, when you got a number of guys trying to figure out who's all playing, you know, some guys, as you progress, you know, want to continue to play and you get to see how those reactions continue to be, you know, body languages and things that you want to see continue to get better and improve. And, and, and you know, because now we, we got minutes to compete for, but they've been super competitive. Um, I think, I think I have a good feel that this group is, is, um, as bonded as quick as they, I mean, early on as well as he, you could expect. Um, but, you know, now we start playing games and now those guys uh, trying to figure it all out. I think you guys know me well enough, you know, that uh, we'll play quite a few guys here early on, but then, you know, our, our, our rotation probably will shrink a little bit as we progress. And, uh, but I'll give guys opportunity to perform and see how well they can play. It's going to be the, the way it is all over the country because of the, you know, the way the transfer portal hit and you look at a lot of rosters, it, it looks differently. You know, we scrimmaged Kansas earlier and uh, I was talking to Bill about how old they are. And he had so many guys that transferred in from Arizona state or Iowa state. And, and then, they, but they had a good core of players back in terms of, you know, the four starters, but they, they have some new guys. So I think, you know, they play tonight. So you'll, you'll start to see guys, see how you can fit your, your players together, guys play well, who play well, who plays well with who. And I think we'll be very similar to that too. I think we've got some core guys coming back, but we've got some new guys that are going to be very critical to our success. And, uh, you know, we're excited. You know, we, we get tested early and obviously we play two games this weekend, but we have an Oregon State coming in on Monday. So it's like a three game in five days, less than five days, really. And, uh, but um, I, I think this team is ready to, you know, get it going like most teams all over the country are. Well, Bill actually called me and, uh, you know, he's never done scrimmaging. You know, he's always played two games. And I think in, in Kansas, they play two teams in the state and uh, help out in the state. And he wanted to do it. And I'm, he chose us and coming back here. And and then uh, we talked about what we want to get accomplished and uh, how we want to set it. We actually played three. We played two uh, halves and then we played another 10 minute segment and then we did some pressing stuff where some things we want to see uh, you know he wanted to work on his catch up defense and so we did some of that stuff afterwards and uh, you know for a guy that never did it he was he had a he wanted to do a lot I said Bill I'm, well, I'm tired we're done so but we did we did it was good though it was really healthy for for us and I, I think he got some out of it himself you know when uh, I don't know when it's when they changed it, when you could play Division One teams in a close scrimmage, and it had to be at least 10, 10, 10, 12 years ago. Because it used to be you could play these club teams or these foreign teams and, and exhibit in your exhibition type settings. But then it got to the point where you could play close scrimmages. And I, I like to do one of each over the last couple of years because you, you know, you have your one time you perform in front of folks, but then your close scrimmage against a D1 team, which you know, good, better competition, maybe. And, uh, and you can work on some things like we were able to. And, um, but I thought that was really good for us. And, um, like I said, Bill's never done it. I think he was excited about doing it. And, uh, I think he got something from it too. We lost U UConn a couple of years ago and, and they were, and then all of a sudden, I think, you know, Houston has emerged and, and, I think the league and where it's set up, you're hoping the league can do things for the teams in the league. And and I think we've got enough good quality coaches and teams in this league that'll be very do continue to be very well, do very well. But I think those teams that are joining us, I think the American could help those teams too. And and some of those teams are really good. You know, North Texas won their league and won a game in the NC two A last year. Um, I mean, I think um, you know, UTSA is a young program, um, which will, I think will continue to get better. Um, you know, when I was in, in the nineties, Rice was really good. Um, they were in the Southwest conference when I was at Texas A&M. So, I mean, those are programs that have had success. Um, you know, who are the other teams that join? I, I can't quite remember the other teams, but I think I feel good about where we're at in terms of guys that are still in the league and the guys we're bringing in. I think the league will, 
continue to uplift those programs. Exciting about that. Uh, I think we had the exhibition game the other night and it was so good to see people in the building. And uh, um, I, I felt like they were excited about being back in the building too, you know? So, um, you know, I, I know our players were really thrilled, excited about that. You know, some of these guys haven't played because last year we had some guys on our team for the first time haven't played in front of anybody in our building. So it was a, it was definitely good to, to, to see that. And tomorrow night we'll have, uh, well, hopefully we'll have a really good crowd. And like I said, we've got a three game stretch here at home against some really good teams. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.